I wish that people knew that recovery is extremely rare. 95% of people do not recover, that nothing works to make it better. Believe us, we have tried everything, including all the usual stupid things people love to recommend. In our desperation, we have tried it all, so trust us when we tell you it doesn't work. Very rarely people are lucky enough to spontaneously recover and then they falsely attribute something that they did to that recovery. Uh, they somehow seem to think that they've done recovery right and everyone else who is sick, they're not doing it right. And this is abysmal and an insult of the highest order. If someone recovers, they were simply lucky. It is nothing that they did. They were either lucky that they spontaneously recovered, they were lucky that they had access to something that worked, and they were lucky that their particular pathology was amenable to something they happened to come across and tried. That if your neighbour's aunt tells you that apparently she had it and recovered, chances are she didn't have it. That anyone who tells you they knew someone who had it and recovered by changing their diet taking some supplements, doing yoga, changing their mindset, pushing themselves or saying they simply had to recover for their children. They didn't have it. Like I already said, this disease does not respond to strength of character. You cannot will yourself to recover and it is extremely ignorant, arrogant and insulting to claim otherwise. That we do not appreciate unsolicited advice on how to cure our incurable disease. There is no cure. Once again, please remember that we have tried everything and if we choose to try more things, it is up to us and no one else. So please do not stick your nose in, do not recommend things and just simply go away. That this is pretty much the worst funded of all major diseases on the planet. The research funding it receives is a teeny tiny fraction when compared to diseases of a similar burden. Just for one example, MS is half as common and yet it receives 20 times more biomedical research funding. And this is precisely why we still don't have a single biomarker or a single treatment. I wish that people knew that the level of disability combined with lack of treatments, lack of medical help, public ignorance and stigma makes this disease one with the lowest quality of life scores of all major diseases. That as a result of this, ME patients are six times more likely than the general population to commit suicide and indeed suicide is the most common cause of death in ME. So help us bring an end to this horrifying disease. You can do that by sharing this video. It helps to create awareness which in turn will translate into more research funding and eventually treatments. If you can, please donate to Open Medicine Foundation who are spearheading research into this disease and are making incredible progress even though they are only funded by donations from patients, their families and other people who care. The governments do not fund this disease. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, We just want to see some treatments to allow us to live to some human standard. Please help us make this happen.